I'm trying to get ejected from this. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get muted. <laughs> I was gonna have to mute you real quick. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you want to speak, man? No. Can't, you can't just be messing can't up speak. the lore, man. All right, all right. <laughs> so we're gonna go into winners finals. All right, here we go. Two scoops. Fad Nico versus Jk. Rematch again from Wiz and I fights. Yeah. Uh, in which JK was actually able to take that set win, I believe, 2-1. So, um, yeah, Nico back and forth on this matchup. Uh, multiple sets with Afro, in which, you know, sometimes he can clutch it out, but he definitely struggles a lot, especially when it comes to dealing with the offstage plays. Um, see if he's figured out a few things. Like when it comes to just holding down the ledge, of course he tends to you know be really strong there. But I just feel in neutral and uh, coming back, he just it's really rough for him. Yeah. Like Shulk, even with like changing his uh, changing up with the oh, oh wow, good gosh, way, wow. dude, so good. Yeah, even when he's like in these jail positions, or when he needs to di and like maybe even mix up the timings with the the art switches, it's still really hard for him to land against his character. Buster's out. And? Uh, yeah, he wasn't sure what uh, JK was going to land with there, yeah. so he tried to respect the space, see if he could react to something, but instead gave JK all the stage control back, and now he's once again struggling to land against this character. JK is playing so patient. Yeah. Okay. And he's going to come right back, jump back away. Not going to die, though. Most important part. Let's nice jump. Nope. Oh, it doesn't react to the roll. Can't tell oh. if that was a miss input or not. I feel like that was. I'm not sure why he would go for a dash attack at that point. That's not going to kill yet. Give him opportunity. He's going to go into speed. Wow, oh, what yeah. a reversal. Brings him right back out. Really good chases right now from JK. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, that's he can afford to just do these combos yeah. on shield art because it doesn't matter that he uh, doesn't get the kill for it. He'll just get a lot of easy damage. Uh, okay, but, but he's going to push, push right into the stage. Uh, you don't want to give Nico free stocks. Oh, like that. oh yeah, but First that's free. Yep. Goodbye. Well, I actually, I actually like the wish time there just because completely erased the chance of Nico... Doing another crazy comeback. Yep. I, he's done it before. I, I, all he needs is that one opening, and next thing you know, he's spiking you off stage. So, yeah, good answer there from JK. Yeah, but, uh, usually a lot of times how Nico starts off his strings, too, of course, it is Shulk. So, usually he does some kind of – he goes, like, gets an air, maybe a, a second hit off that, and then he gets a mix-up or something. So, I do love that wedge time, just as you said. All right, so we're going to go into game two on the battlefield. Season selection, what do you think? Uh, this is a really good Bayonetta stage, but maybe he feels that he can pressure JK's uh, landings a little bit easier and like, pin him to the corner while he's on this stage. I still feel he's going to struggle landing a lot, even if he can kind of retreat to the platforms instead of just falling directly above him. But uh, we'll see. It really depends on how long Nico can maintain his advantage state yeah. in this matchup. Nope, no shield poke there. Oh, the chase. <laughs> All right. I've met the ledge where he wants him. Yeah. Get some of the jabs. Nice. Yeah, that's a good chunk of damage that he was able to get from Buster Art there. <laughs> good DI, too, on that up air. Good DI that out. I'm going to die too early. And he's going to be in Shield Art now. Now he's going to Smash. Looking for the stock here. Down throw? Oh no, he's just gonna wait. Oh wow. Thought he could get up to that shield of punch that thought uh, JK had a little bit more landing lag from the specials, but it just wasn't there. I'm surprised he doesn't go for a up go for a either a up smash out of shield there. Or just straight up go for the up E out of shield. Oh, oh. did he barely gamble it all there? Damn. Well. Oh, uh, yeah, he definitely called out the roll there because he knew that um, 
Oh, that's going to kill. Right, yeah, there it is. Back. Okay, finally goes for the up out of shield. Yeah, I would really love to see that come out of him far more often. There's certain situations where you can just kind of run up to wherever JK is going to land and just simply go for that option to get himself a guaranteed kill rather than going for something that just requires more frames. Oh, my gosh. Where is wow. this man taking him? Yep, yeah, and this again. is just rough, man. Um, oh, yeah. That it doesn't matter because... He won't die, but he'll take so much more damage, and he'll stall out the, the shield art mm -hmm. since he just has to hold all that all those hits. And by the time he's out of the shield art, he'll just die the next hit. Look in there. And, uh, let's see, I already see a fall down much time. No. All right, here it is again. Yeah, he's just keep on calling he's, he's okay with this. Okay. Got him right out of the hill slide. Yeah, that's a good opportunity for him. Here. Now he wants to make a big play happen here. Oh, hard read. Falls out of the uh, the grab setup, but still gets uh, caught air dodging. Nope. Try to run out the hill slide. Get caught by the last kick. And, and he no, he's not going to be able to catch him now. It's a little too high. Okay. Nico actually uh, really hold down the stage in this mode because he can't afford to get, get comboed again. Oh, no grab and from JK. It's a down throw. All right, let's see if he goes for aggressive play. Missing the second oh, hit of the air the slash hit. would have been a really good play for him there. Fourth throw, and nope. that's not going to kill. And now he's going to switch to shield art. 205%. Nearly avoiding the bullet climax. All right, got on stage. Oh, okay. Ooh, no tech chase, though. Wow, JK fishing for grabs yep. here might be the end of his stock. And he's like, why yeah. is this man not dead? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're both fishing for the grab yep. at this point. Oh, they all do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he, he did he that. Oh, him <laughs> I was down to the wire, man. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I actually think that uh, her dash grab um, ending lag is long enough for him to punch those whiff grabs actually way harder. I yeah. think he could have just... I'll be that shield, or just I'll be over the ground to punch. Yeah, him. yeah. Just really would love to see those a lot more from Nico, man. Because up tilts are great. <laughs> They'll cover a lot of these options, but when you're in situations where you're not really too sure, you just get so much more option coverage when you can just go for a shield and then on reaction just go for these upbees. Yeah. All right, come Shake, big damage, nice tech chase. Oh my Utilizing gosh, the platform so much damage from this. All right. Nice. Interrupting the hillside there. Going to get the corner pressure set up once again. Ooh, oh, right outside range of that yeah. nair, though. Nico is trying to uh, read a, a roll in, but since JK can just go off the stage and yeah. immediately just, uh, just barely. have the render kick. Oh. oh, good punish. Nice. All right. Got the smash art out, but it's uh, hit off the ledge a little bit. Allows JK to get to center stage again. Might be looking for a grab here. Nope. All right. Take him up. Throw. Yeah, so he's going to just it's guaranteed damage. As you were saying before, just continue to combo him. But Nico did get what he wanted. Oh. That was a very uh, risky play for Nico. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, just uh, trying to calling out these rolls, but just hasn't been in position to punch them. Yeah. Wow, that was just enough. Yeah, just really enough. Good catch. Just left him behind. Okay. Yeah, good really good. Stack. Yeah, yeah that's gonna close it out. Good punish. Punishing the bullet climax in lag there. Really a uh, long range kill move with the dash attack. Very smart. <laughs> because not here. No. Okay. Oh. All right, getting both hits of the upper here. He's going to go for another chase in the jump art, but Oh, that might have been dead. a bad chase. All right, here we go again. Oh, beautiful chase from JK. Yeah. Okay. 
Swung him out of the air. Oh, start up with a forward air. A little bit too slow for him to intercept that kick. Okay. Okay. Good. It's for Nico yeah, here. Good damage. Gonna go for a hard read in the smash art. No, Jake is going to run it out, but letting it caught. Oh, he's going super deep to punch that. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, and. Just oh, got caught up, though. Smash out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stayed in smash art. Looked like he was opting to switch a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. Jay is going to close that out 3 0, but I definitely think Nico played that matchup a lot better than he did uh, last time I saw him play. Absolutely. Definitely played a lot better, but he unfortunately was able to close it out. Again, I really would love to see more kind of uppies out of shield coming out of Nico. I think that could help in certain regards, but he was playing really, really stellar. JK played it really methodical, man. He said, okay, you're in shield art. I don't care. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to combo you here and I'm going to be fine. Once he yep. got in those situations, he stepped back. He played really reserved. Uh, was really appropriate on the turn timings. A lot of times you'll see Nico. He'll kind of go, like I said before, just the nature of Shulk. He'll go kind of like almost he'll wait like a, like a f split second before he goes in and continues conversion. That's usually how he gets his kind of mix-ups. And it seemed that JK kind of got a figure on that timing. And once yeah. he was getting that, he's been wait, he's been patient. Even where he was kind of spacing himself, he when he was in his space, he was doing that with a purpose. Otherwise, he'd step out of those ranges, he'd wait back, and either look for a whiff punishes with slides, bears, or going for nares. And a lot of the cross-ups, it just felt like it was giving Nico a really, really hard time. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, Shulk doesn't have the best frame data to really contest with all that pressure yeah. on shield, especially with the options he was choosing to go for. So yeah, like you said, a B out of shield would have been a much better tool. Just because it would kind of make JK respect that um, he can't just hit his shield as freely. Yeah. So. But he's still in. Uh, that was the winner's finals, I believe. So yep. he's going to be waiting to lose his finals, have a second chance, possibly. Um, I'm not sure who. Oh, okay. Elegance in there. So one of these two managed to take out K9, I guess. I think. I haven't really seen the bracket.